wanted to come. I thought that it'd be better if I did. Whenever you want to go back to the party, Sandy, there's no rush. I'm not going back, Griff. You're not going back tonight, or you're... What are you saying? I'm saying I don't think I can marry Brian. None of you know what she I was mean, doing today. Now is not the time. That's it. I'm going to go get her. That's not a good idea. Brian. Brian, just come sit down. He'll bring her back. Griffin will bring her back. Griffin, that's where I am. I have to rely on her. On a what? Exactly. Everyone, please, just please. When did you decide this? I don't know. I guess, um, I guess it was today. I'm here trying to find someone to be with this woman. And all Brian can say is I've got a live guy in the ER and you've got a brain dead woman in ICU. Well, that's Brian, but <sighs> Sandy, that's always been Brian. Maybe I just got tired of it. It's three days till your wedding. Maybe I just needed to be here. But why, Sandy? She said that there were worse things than being alone. Who? Brian's aunt. And I just, I mean, I couldn't believe that. Because I am so scared of being alone, Griff. It just make it, it, I can't breathe. It's, it's the reason that I that I plan every party, that I that I make every phone call. You take every pee test. Because I'm afraid of being some old woman one day in a room alone without somebody to see me. And, and today, I realized for the last few months, even with Brian, I have been alone. It was one little thing that he said. I mean, it was a stupid thing, no, but... It... it was not just one little thing, Griff. There's someone who can't tell me that their dream is to go to Africa that thinks that I am just a nurse who won't kiss me in public. Well, that's a lot of little things. It all just... Adds up. And that's why I just had to come here to be with this woman while she died. And when they took her out, I think it was actually the first time I've been alone that I can remember. What am I gonna do now, Griff? <laughs>